Hello, I'm Dr. John McDougall, and I live in sunny California, and that's where I run the McDougall program up in Santa Rosa, California. So we have plenty of sunshine here, and that gives me an opportunity to get the sunshine vitamin. You know what that is. You learned about it all the way through school. Sunshine vitamin. That's vitamin D. That's right. The sunshine acts on the skin and converts cholesterol into this very essential vitamin called vitamin D. That's where you get your vitamin D from, is from the sunshine. Now, admittedly, in our society, people get too little sunshine. As a result, they have problems with low vitamin D levels. This happens because people wear a lot of clothes. They stay in office buildings. Dark-skinned people have moved north up to New York or London, and so they require more intensity of ultraviolet light because their skin is adapted towards the equator environment. And they move to higher latitudes, and they get less sun exposure. And as a result, it's common for people to have low vitamin D levels. In fact, this is one of the most common tests ordered by doctors these days is the vitamin D level. It's sad to say almost everybody flunks it. Yeah, 50 to 90 percent of people who take a vitamin D blood test, they fail the test based on current standards. Now, the response of the doctor should be, well, this means you need to go out and get more sunshine. But that's rarely communicated to the patient. Instead, just like the rest of medicine, the communication is buy pills, buy pills, buy pills. Well, this is part of what I call disease mongering. You turn healthy people into patients, you tell them they got a disease called vitamin D deficiency, and you hook them on drugs that they have to come back to the office to get evaluated, and they have to get more blood tests. It just increases the business terribly. Well, it's not the right answer. Taking vitamin D pills causes nutritional imbalances. They're associated with an increased risk of pancreatic cancer and prostate cancer. Raises uh, your bad cholesterol. Uh, it increases the occurrence of uh, kidney stones and other kidney and autoimmune problems. Taking pills cause nutritional imbalances. The right answer, if you're worried about your vitamin D level, is to go out and get more sunshine. The other thing involved here is an over-exaggeration of what normal is. People are told that they have to be 30 nanograms per milliliter or greater to pass the vitamin D test. In truth, the scientific research says that you only have to be at 20 nanograms per milliliter to pass. Well, if you exaggerate what's normal, you get a lot more people as patients. That's one of the problems, too. So get a vitamin D test if you're worried about it and respond appropriately by using the correct normals. Anything below 20 nanograms per milliliter means you get more sunshine, not take pills. You get out and get more sunshine, more sun exposure. That's the answer. It's the most uh, productive way to get your vitamin D, safest, non-toxic, and, of course, absolutely cost-free. I'm Dr. John McDougall. Thank you for listening.